Understanding Sitting Indian Style, a Guide to English Phrases. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of the English language, phrases that are deeply rooted in culture and history. One such phrase is Sitting Indian Style. This video aims to unpack the meaning, origins, and the modern perspective on this term. Whether you're learning English or just curious about language nuances, this exploration is for you. Sitting Indian style refers to a way of sitting on the floor with the legs crossed. In this position, each foot is placed beneath the opposite knee, and the knees are spread wide apart. It's a common sitting position for children in classrooms, during story times, or in casual settings. However, it's essential to understand the cultural context and why the term is considered outdated and insensitive by many today. The term, sitting Indian style, originates from a stereotypical association with Native American sitting postures observed by European settlers. It was widely used to describe a cross-legged sitting position. However, it's important to note that this term simplifies and generalizes the diverse cultures and practices of Native American tribes. In recent years, there has been a shift towards more culturally sensitive language. The term, sitting Indian style, has been replaced in many contexts by crisscross applesauce. This change reflects a growing awareness of the importance of respectful and inclusive language, especially in educational settings and media. Language is powerful. It shapes our perceptions of the world and each other. Using terms that respect cultural diversity and history is crucial in fostering an inclusive society. By choosing our words carefully, we contribute to a more understanding and respectful community. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of the phrase, sitting Indian style. Understanding the origins, meanings, and impacts of the words we use is a valuable part of learning a language and respecting the diverse cultures that contribute to its richness. We hope this video has been informative and encourages thoughtful conversation about language and culture. See you in the next video.